एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय टू क्लास आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज अनदर सेशन ऑफ एजूर 305 एज वी नो दैट एजूर 305 इज अ कोर्स कोड फॉर एजूर आर्किटेक्ट वी हैव रिसेंटली एडेड वन प्लेलिस्ट बेस्ड ऑन ए जी थ्री जीरो फाइव एंड इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टू आर थ्री डिफरेंट वीडियोज आर क्लासेस सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू मूव आर सेल टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक according to the content because we are using a core content according to the microsoft blueprint so as per the content of uh, ag305 the another points that we need to discuss design data storage solution as we know that each and every organization must be establish their own data storage with the help of data storage you can save your personal data you can take the backup of your file folder are any kind of virtual machines so you know that storage is really important for every organization no matter you are planning to set up your on premises infrastructure or you are planning to set up entire infrastructure over a cloud portal so storage can play a unique role each and every organization must need to establish so as a architect it's our responsibility we should guide to our client how we can utilize our storage services in this case the core contents are design for data storage design for azure storage account about the design for data redundancy and we will discuss about azure blob storage and azure file services these all are the points that we need to cover in this class so let's move ourselves to understand about the concept first after that i'll show you the proper practical how we can implement the azure storage account so let me help you to understand about the concept of designing azure storage and after that we'll show you the practical so before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time so please do subscribe teach me cloud youtube channel because that teach me cloud is a single youtube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skipping any step so our agenda to understand about azure storage services so designing azure storage as per the name suggests we should know about the each and every points related to the azure storage i'm going to help you in case of azure storage we have a multiple way to store our data by using azure storage account second step you can use a disk management means we are able to connect our virtual hard drive directly to the vm but now i'm going to start from storage account service once we complete the part of storage account then we'll proceed for the disk management our virtual machines disk management let me help you to understand with the help of diagram in azure storage services the first storage is storage account a single storage account contain multiple storage services these services are containers we can create a file share okay we have option to establish tables and last step is related to the queues these all are the storage services you will find in single storage account so i'm going to help you practical as well but before that let me help you to understand about these points like containers and blo uh, containers and file share both are consider as a you can say that unstructured data storage and tables and queues both are responsible to contain structured storage the meaning of unstructured storage like as you are able to connect con uh, you are able to upload any kind of documents pdf right images or any kind of videos file these all are the data these types of data are considered as a unstructured and about the structured data we just need to proceed with SQL database, okay, or any kind of database like as the Oracle. This is also a type of database. So entire database that you can store 
in our structured database and unstructured data that we can help us to store any kind of PDF document and images. Now, let me help you to understand about how to create the storage account. For this particular task, I'm going to open my Azure portal, click more services. Under the more services, we'll find a storage option. Just need to click on storage, select storage account, I'm just going to proceed and create a storage account. We must need to provide basic information. Click create. It will redirect you on page where we can uh, provide the basic information about the storage. Pay as you go is our storage uh, types of subscription. Select your resource group. Provide the storage name class 1988 is storage. You must need to use unique name. I'm going to proceed and create in central US location and see this is the performance. As per the name suggests, the performance is standard and premium. If you want high transaction, high speed of data transaction between your on-premises to cloud storage or cloud to cloud storage, please proceed with premium. But you have to pay additional amount. It will give you the high data transaction speed, low latency, but it, you have to pay the additional amount. Second option is redundancy as per the content, right? We should know about the redundancy designed for the data redundancy. So redundancy is categorized in four different part, right? The redundancy is categorized in four different part. One is LRS, second is GRS, ZRS and ZZRS. Actually, the meaning of these points The meaning of these points can help us to make a communication to, to establish our data with redundancy with security. LRS, the meaning of LRS is basically that create a single copy of our data and put it into the same geographical location. Means if you establish your storage account by using the LRS, you are not able, you are not as, uh, able to create the disaster recovery of our data storage. We are not able to create a failover or any kind of object replication services. So the local redundant storage can help you to store the data on same location only. GRS, the meaning of GRS, it will help you to create a six copy of single data and put it into the two different geographical location. ZRS, can help us to create a nine copy of data and put into the three different geographical location. ZZRS can help you to create 12 copy of single data and put into the four different geographical location. So to set up a replication, so to set up a failover, I'm going to proceed with GRS because in upcoming session, I'll help you to understand about how to manage the GRS storage. Click next. This is advanced setting that help us to manage API. If you want to set up an API, you wanted to put any images, you want to connect the same image with your website, then REST API can help us. I'm not going to make any changes. Click next. Another important point is related to uh, access label permission. Access label permission, the meaning of access label permission is basically related to For example, you uploaded a data and you wanted to access from any different location, then you must need to make it public. Enable public access from all networks. So I'm going to proceed. Protection. Under the security data protection, it give us an option. It will provide us an option related to the soft delete. The meaning of soft delete, it means that once you delete, for example, due to any reason or accidental deletion, uh, if you delete the data, you are able to recover within seven days. This is the meaning of soft deletion. Next, about the encryption, if you want to protect your data between transaction, so we have a two different way, MMK, Microsoft Managed Key, and Customer Managed Key. If you have your own key, if you designed your own key, then you can proceed with Customer Managed Key, CMK. 
if you want to utilize the default key proceed with mm key next review and create this is the way that can help us to uh, create our storage account so once our storage is ready to use i'll help you to understand about how we can upload the data from our on premises machine to azure storage account so as we discussed before like the storage account contain four different types of storage services two storage services responsible to contain unstructured data and another two storage services can help us to store structured data like as a sql oracle in case of unstructured we have a document pdf and videos correct so it is in progress once our data is storage once our storage account azure storage account is ready to use i'll help you to understand about how we can manage, manage unstructured storage and structured storage it is in progress hardly it will take up to uh, 40 second 30 to 40 seconds now it's ready to use go to the resource class 1988 storage account that we used and now let me show you the types of data storage that we have we are able to find data storage under the data storage containers file share queues and tables queues and tables both are responsible to store structured data like as a sql oracle containers and file share responsible to store unstructured data like as a pdf document images and videos i'm going to proceed with container so container can help us to upload data in blob format so multiple blobs are available that we will discuss but now i'm going to create one container with name of test public label access yes i wanted to access my container from outside network the object uh, that are available in our containers i wanted to access from anywhere that's why make it public creating a storage wait for a few seconds one storage account one container test container is ready to use select container test upload the data right i'm going to upload the data from our on premises machine browse files let me check if any data available on desktop yeah multiple data are available i'm just going to upload one screenshot and upload it we successfully uploaded one data in our container so it's a type of image let me check open it and it give us a url just copy url and paste on any browser this is our actual data right so it's a type of screenshot that i uh, uploaded in our container it's a type of unstructured data everyone this is the basic information this is the basic information about our storage services according to the architect we will discuss more about how we can utilize the storage services but in next session i hope everyone able to understand about the concept of a storage account if you have any question or doubt please let me know or drop a comment do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel thank you take care bye bye